IV characteristics of a PN junction diode in forward and reverse bias. The objective of this laboratory experiment is to study the IV characteristic curve of a PN junction diode in both forward and reverse bias. A PN junction diode is formed when a pure semiconductor is partly doped such that the P side has holes as majority charge carriers and N side has majority charge carriers as electrons. In a forward bias, when a cell is connected across the diode, the N side of the semiconductor is connected to the negative of the cell and P side is connected to the positive of the cell. Then the barrier potential decreases and due to the process of minority carrier injection, that is, the P side has holes N side as electrons produce a diffusion current which is measured by using a milliameter. In a reverse bias, when a cell is connected across the diode, the N side of the semiconductor is connected to the positive of the cell and the P side is connected to the negative of the cell. Then the thickness of the depletion layer increases. The diffusion current reduces enormously but some of the holes on the P side and the electrons on the N side come close to the junction and are swept to its majority zone. This is called drifting of charge carriers. Thus, a drift current of small value is produced and is measured in microamperes. Displayed here is the PN junction characteristic measurement apparatus. The apparatus comprises of two DC power supplies, two voltmeters of range 0 to 1 volts and 0 to 20 volts, 0 to 15 milliampere milliammeter, 0 to 100 microampere microammeter, two PN junction diodes mounted behind the panel. Observe that the left-hand side of the circuit shows the PN junction in forward bias, whereas the right-hand side of the circuit board shows reverse bias. Let us perform an experiment and study the characteristics of PN junction diode in forward and reverse bias. Connect the wires as shown. For forward biasing, rotate the black knob on the left-hand side of the circuit board incrementally in steps of 0 0.05 volts and note down the corresponding readings in the milliammeter. Record your observations in an observation table. Now, for reverse biasing, rotate the knob on the right side of the circuit board in steps of 1 volts and note the corresponding readings in the microammeter. Record your observation in a tabular column. Displayed here is the table of observations that records voltmeters and the ammeter readings for forward bias and reverse bias. Let's plot the observations made on a graph taking forward voltage along x-axis and forward current along y-axis. Reverse voltage along negative x-axis and reverse current along negative y-axis. Observe that in forward biasing, the forward current initially remains zero Till the barrier potential of the junction is reached. Thereafter, the current starts increasing slowly in the beginning and then rapidly. The value of forward bias voltage at which the forward current just starts increasing is called cut in voltage or threshold voltage or turn on voltage. Calculate the slope of resistance, RF, in the upper portion of the graph where the value of voltage is less the value of current is more and the graph line is steep. This value is generally less than 100 ohms and it is also referred to as the dynamic value of resistance in forward bias. In reverse biasing, when the reverse bias increases, there is a very small reverse current flow which remains almost constant, independent of the bias voltage. But when reverse bias increases to a sufficiently high value, the reverse current suddenly increases to a large value. This voltage at which the reverse current increases sharply is called the breakdown voltage of the junction diode.
calculate the slope in the upper region of the graph where it takes a curve. Note that the value of reverse bias resistance is of the order of 10 raised to 6 ohms as the diode offers more resistance in the reverse bias. This value is also referred to as the dynamic value of resistance in reverse bias.